Hi everyone, it's Jeremy and Crystal with Razorback Ridge Homestead. Uh, it's been, I don't know, a week and a half. Uh, at least a, a week. A week. At least a week since, since we made a video. I don't think we posted one last week. But the reason mm -hmm. being, we was going to post a video last week, but we had a, tra a, a tragedy happen while we was up there on our property. My black and white female pit bull that we've had for six years, I was cutting down a tree. I had cut down two trees before this one, and I had I told I told her to go on. Well, she started walking away, going back up to the camp camper. I had just cut my notch into the tree when I told her that. Well, I stopped. I stopped and I told her to go away. Well, I I decided I decided to go ahead and finish cutting the tree down, and I started cutting into it. And I look over, right as right as the tree starting to fall, my female pit. She runs full speed speed underneath uh, underneath the tree as it falls, and it broke her back. And we had no other choice but to go ahead and put her down because she was bleeding out of her mouth. And you know, I didn't want her to suffer, but that is the reason why we haven't made a video in a week and a half, two weeks. Is we've been we've been really dealing with that. Yeah, we've been dealing with it. You know, we've been heartbroken having her for for six years. So you know, she was. You know, I never considered her a pet. She was part of the family. You know, she wasn't mean. A anybody around here that that knew her knew that that she was one 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 of the kindest dogs you would come across. The only the most vicious thing that that on her was her tail. <laughs> She'd spank you with that tail and it hurt. My mom, my mom was terif was terrified of pit bulls. And then I got this one, and she come to love her. As the last six years went by, you know, at the end, you know, when when we had to put her down, my mom said there's only been two pit bulls she's ever liked, and Mia was the second. She said Mia was probably the nicest pit bull she's ever come across. Um, as you can see on my shoulder, we just got her Monday to help combat the you know the heart heartbreakness. You know, I was, I was crushed when 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 the tree hit her. I ran over there, and when I realized it actually hit her, I I collapsed. I fell I fell to the ground and started crying. You know, she was she was like my best friend. She you know she was like my best friend, and I felt like I I had lost a piece of a piece of something that you know or you know. You know, when you lose lose somebody you love, you know, you, you just don't feel like doing anything. Well, losing her really put me down. And then my wife come across this puppy. She's full-blooded. She's a brindle. And our kids love her. And we're hoping she's as good as a dog as our dog Mia was. Uh, Mia, Mia was the black and white pit bull you, you would see in some, some of our videos. Very nice, friendly as can be. Would never bite, uh, bite another person, but but if, but if a stray dog come in the yard, she'd chase them off. But y'all, that is the reason why we have not not made a video. If you would, please hit that like and subscribe button. We you know we'd appreciate it. And to all you that are already subscribed, I want to apologize for not making a video. You know, uh. We're gonna try to try to get back up there, up there next week sometime. Tomorrow will be exactly one week since we since since we had to put her down. And but to to all my subscribers, we want to say thank you, and we'll try to get a video up there next week of us doing some work and whatnot. So again, thank you. And here in a few weeks. Uh, hopefully I'll be getting me a, um, German Shepherd pit bull cross. I've been wanting another German Shepherd for a long time and hadn't really been able to find one and, uh, came across some German Shepherd pit bull puppies and read up on the, on the crossbreed and they are actually a good mix of both breeds. And so I'm really looking forward to having... Uh, one here in a few weeks, so we're gonna have 
house full of dogs again. <laughs> but yeah, just, we're we're animal people, and they really they really help us. Uh, you know, comfort us through stuff. Yeah, we got home last Thursday. You know, we 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 left out 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 of here Mon that Monday. Got up there. I I would have never thought that something bad like that that was gonna happen. I, before I started cutting that last tree down, I had that I, I had a gut feeling something bad was gonna happen, but I didn't follow my gut. And just gotta make sure it doesn't yep, happen again. I, I've gotta make sure that you know, when in doubt, you know, always follow your gut when you're out doing something. If you got a bad feeling that something bad's about to happen, follow your gut. I should have done that. I regret it, but I can't dwell on it. She she lived a good life. And hopefully that this one right here will be as as good as a dog as she was. But y'all, I want to say bye for now and, and t until next time. Thank you.